Hello everybody, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here. Thanks for stopping by to check out the brand new Microsoft Surface Pro 3. The Surface Pro 3 is Microsoft's current top-of-the-line mobile device, and this new model has some interesting features like a larger screen with a 3-2 aspect ratio and a Bluetooth connected stylus that can bring up one note with just a click. Let's dive right in and take a closer look. Before we take a tour of the Surface Pro 3, we should probably get some specifications out of the way first. Microsoft has announced five initial Surface Pro 3 models. The one you see here falls about in the middle of the lineup. It's priced at $1299, and it's built around a Core i5-4300U processor with 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD. At the low end, there's a $799 model built around a Core i3 with 4 gigs of RAM and a 64 gig SSD. And at the very top of the lineup, there's a Core i7 based model with 8 gigs of RAM and a 512 gig SSD. That one's priced at $1949. Now based on that pricing, the Surface Pro 3 absolutely commands a premium, but if you price it alongside other multi-touch Ultrabooks with high DPI displays, they're actually pretty competitive. The most obvious change Microsoft made to the Surface Pro 3 is to the screen. The Surface Pro 3 has a 12-inch display with a 3-2 aspect ratio and a resolution of 2160 by 1440. Previous gen Surface devices had a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now the new 3-2 aspect ratio adds some height to the Surface Pro 3, but that extra vertical resolution is welcome in our opinion. Now if you take a look around the screen, they're probably tough to see, but on either side of the screen there's a couple of slits for the new front-facing speakers on the Surface Pro 3. Now these speakers offer clearer audio and richer audio than the previous gen in our opinion, and they also get much louder too. Now at the very top you'll see a 5 megapixel camera next to a light sensor and a microphone, and on the right hand side here is the home button, which will take you to the start screen or the previous app that you had open. If we jump around to the back of the Surface Pro 3 for a second, you can see the kickstand right here. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. And here is the rear-facing 5 megapixel camera. Both the front and rear cameras can capture 1080p video. It's probably hard to see right now, but there's a vent that runs along the top of the Surface Pro 3. And right here is the power button. Moving on to the left side of the Surface Pro 3, you may notice that the vent we mentioned along the top continues along this edge. There's also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a volume rocker. And we'll also use this opportunity to talk about the kickstand for a bit. On previous gen Surface devices, the kickstand opened to either one or two positions. But on the Surface Pro 3, there's a friction hinge in there now. So when you initially pop it open, it'll hit the 22 degrees like the other Surface devices, but now you can position it anywhere you want beyond that. On the right-hand side of the Surface Pro 3, there is a mini display port, a USB 3 jack, and right here is the jack for the power adapter. Now the power adapter is reversible and it's magnetic, so as long as you get it roughly in the right position, it'll pop right in there for you. On the back of the Surface Pro 3 underneath its keyboard you'll find a micro SD expansion slot and along the bottom are the connectors for the dock and keyboard. And like other Surface devices the keyboards just snap right in with a click. Here's a close-up shot of the new touch cover. Now to accommodate the larger screen on the Surface Pro 3 the new touch cover is a little bit taller. And to use up that additional space, Microsoft incorporated a larger touchpad that's also smoother and more responsive than the previous gen. It's still not a great touchpad, but it's much better than the previous gen. And along the top here, this whole ridge right there is actually a, a magnet. And this touch cover can work in two modes. You can attach it to the bottom just like previous gen touch covers, and that works fine for the most part. But if you want the device to feel more rigid, more like an actual laptop, you can bend it along this crease and attach that large magnet to the screen. Let me show you. So here's how the touch cover normally would connect to a Surface. Um, it just snaps right on the bottom and it works perfectly fine. You can see it's a little bit flimsy. It's not bad, but there's definitely some play there. But now with this extra magnetic strip, if you just give it a little push, that strip will attach to the screen. 
And now the whole assembly is more rigid. It makes the Surface Pro 3 feel more like an actual laptop rather than a tablet with a keyboard attached. We should also give you a quick taste as to how the Surface Pro 3 performs. Now with a Core i processor, 8 gigs of RAM and a fast SSD, it should come as no surprise that Windows 8.1 is very fluid and smooth on here. Now we're not going to spend a ton of time on the OS because by now we're sure you know what Windows 8.1 is all about. But we want to show you how quickly the Surface Pro 3 can you know, switch through applications here. You can bring out the charms on that side. You know, closing apps is just a matter of swiping. As you can see, you know, touch input has minimal latency. The machine really is very fast and fluid to use. And speaking of fast, I think we should also show you how quickly the Surface Pro 3 can shut down and boot back up. So let me shut her down quickly. Give me a second here. I'm actually shutting the machine off. I'm not restarting it. And while that's shutting down, let me bring my phone into the frame for a second. I have a stopwatch app up and running here. So I'm going to hit the power button and start the stopwatch and you'll see how quickly the machine boots. Let me just get into position here. Okay, power button is pressed. In just a few seconds, you'll see the Surface logo. And a few seconds after that, you will see the login screen. Bingo just over nine seconds. That is really not bad from off to login screen, less than 10 seconds, pretty cool. And we'd also like to show you how well the new Surface Pen works with the Surface Pro 3. As we mentioned earlier, just a quick tap of this button, it's gonna bring up OneNote right away. Now, as soon as the app opens, you're ready to start using it and taking notes. Now, the pen has 256 levels of pressure sensitivity, so you can get really fine lines or heavier lines depending how hard you press. And as you can see, there's really minimal latency. This is one of the fastest and smoothest pens we have used on a PC to date. Microsoft's done a great job with this one. We hope you've enjoyed this hands-on look at the Surface Pro 3. For more details and a full suite of benchmarks, don't forget to stop by Hot Hardware to check out the full review. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.